guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a review and swatches and first look and eye look. Um, I have my face ready so I can do my eyes of the new Kat Von D palette. This is Mi Vida Loca. Mi Vida Loca. Looks like this on the cover. It came in this plastic thing, protective, but it's clear so you can see it. So I just took that off. So this is her beautiful design, the different color um, artwork, the stars at the top, so gorgeous. This is what it looks like on the inside of this. And then it does come with this um, I Look base card, which also shows you like the colors on the back. And it has um, all the details on it and stuff of how to get these eye looks. Very pretty. Her artwork is just so stunning. Like, it's just, it's beautiful. I've noticed everybody's going with this, like, um, rainbow oil slick look. So, but her, this palette looks literally like an artist palette. Like, it's like a canvas. Like an artist, um, you know, like a color wheel. An artist color wheel. Well, it is technically it looks like a color wheel too. Um, Kat Von D in the middle, beautiful colors, so many mattes. I am so happy about this palette because it has so many matte colors in here that you probably don't have in your collection unless you have like a BH Cosmetics 88 palette or something like that. So let me count them. Possibly, probably. Probably 12. A couple of these look like they look like mattes, but they look like they have like a, just a sheen to them. So we shall see. I'm going to go through, swatch all of these for you, do an eye look using as many of them as I can, um, and then tell you my thoughts and opinions. But again, this I was so excited about. Look at here. So you have all of your neutrals that you would need, um, your blacks and dark browns for a smoky eye, your shimmer colors right here for your highlight your beautiful transition colors. Um, you have all of your like orange to yellow tone gold, all of your light green to teal, blue, purples, pinks, a little bit of like a corally dark pink and um, perfect maroon like shimmer, a little bit of copper in there. I mean everything you could possibly imagine I think is in here. And I am so stinking excited about it. Like over the moon excited. I'm watching like all kinds of things fly around my window. Sorry. Distracted. Woo! Easily distracted. Okay, let's dive in to the swatches. Okay, I am going to start with what looks to me like the most of the pinks. So I'm going to do these four right here that are kind of like, there's like a purpley pink one um, that's a shimmer, uh, what looks to be like a sheen, um, maybe matte, um, a hot pink, a little bit darker of a, it's like a coral, but it's a darker coral, and then a shimmery burgundy. So we're going to start with those. Oh, they feel fantastic. Oh my gosh, these feel amazing. Okay, so again, these four. So this is Love Swoon, Destroyer, and Rewind. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. So excited. Okay, let's do some swatches. There they are. Look at that insane pigmentation. Let me just eyeshadow them out. I like to kind of like, like, touch them like you would your eye and kind of share them out so you can see. Beautiful. Oh, they're so pretty. This hot pink is gorgeous. This pinky coral is stunning. Um, a little bit, let me try to get a little bit more on that one. So even though it's like a brighter pinky coral, it's a little bit more sheer than a couple of the other ones. So it's not as pigmented as this one. And then this uh, Rewind is stunning. It's like a perfect burgundy with just this nice like sheen to it. No shimmer or glitter. Just a beautiful sheen. 
this is going to look so gorgeous as a highlight or on top of the lid it's like a baby pink but it has like just this like dusty purple to it it's so pretty so there they are so gorgeous okay so Kat Von D has so many things coming out new too um, that are going to be coming out sorry my hair is like this I am gonna um, be going to work soon so I figured I would just film real quick um, but she has another shade and light eye palette coming out an even smaller one and they are in like a plasticky kind this time I'm excited okay we're gonna spin the color wheel and we're gonna go this way I'm gonna do these four this is like a copper color a nice like um, burnty orange kind of color and this is just such a like mustardy yellow and then a beautiful like light lime yellow kind of color like it has it looks like it has a little bit of like just a tint of green but it may be just because it's so light look at how fun these colors are I mean they just scream let's have some fun so this is I think I may be saying this wrong harp Harpsichord, Harpsichord, it's H-A-R-P-S-I-C-O-C-H-O-R-D, Harpsichord, Harpsichord, okay, this is Analog, Fran, and Legend, stunning colors, you guys, this would be so much fun just to do an eye look with these four, and look at that pigmentation, I mean, come on, seriously, oh, so pretty this like mustardy yellow is so cool I don't think I have anything really like that I'd have to look at her palette from last year but I don't think so and I am in love with this harpsichord or harpsichord or whatever you want to say it um, color this is just stunning it's like an orange coppery beautiful beautiful and this orange is beautiful too it's like a burnt a really nice like burnty kind of orange I love these kind of oranges lately in the transition color um, like in her monarch palette it has an orange that's kind of like this too really really pretty to use as a transition if you're gonna kind of do like a neutrally um, like it's not like an orangey look but it's neutral but it just gives it a little something extra just a little bit extra dimension stunning colors oh yes and this um, legend color look at that shine I mean it just screams from my hand it's so pretty it just has such a nice shifter pick up the light kind of color and it's stunning it's like a gold yellow like a very yellowy oh it's so pretty we're spinning the wheel again to this way we are going to do all of these greens and this teal color so I'm going to start off with the lightest, oh they're so soft, you guys seriously I haven't hit one color that's like not super super soft and gorgeous. You know what, I think I'm going to save that one for the blues. I'm going to take this one off, I'm going to kind of keep them in the color family. So that one's a little bit more blue than green than I thought. So we have these three, this is, I have it upside down, one moment. This is Vinyl, Misfit, I love Misfit, that's my um, group where the Misfits for the beach body stuff, so Misfit, and then we have Lemmy, L-E-M-M-Y, Lemmy, look how pretty you guys, oh my gosh, seriously. Like, hold on, let me finish those swatches. One second. <laughs> My finger kind of fell off a little bit. Hold on, let me pick up a little bit more of that vinyl. Oh, 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 this Lemmy is my favorite so far. I mean, I, I no. not so far. I have several favorites so far, but this is definitely a favorite. Look at that Lemmy. So pretty it's like a beautiful duochrome like teal peacock color oh it's so pretty 
and then Misfit is gorgeous as well and then Vinyl is just such a light lime color it just has like a little bit of sheen to it and that Vinyl um I forgot to tell you the matte ones I'm sorry as I was going I'll come back and tell you the matte ones specifically but there they are gorgeous 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 Oh, that green is so pretty. I'm going to have to do an eye look with that green. Okay, so let's keep going. Now we are going to shift the wheel this way and do our blues and teal color. Oh, so pretty. Actually, that one's more of a purple, so we're just going to do the three. Okay, so here we have... We have... Hyper Ballad, which is that more like tealy matte color. Synth, S Y N T H, synth, is that how you say it? Or, yeah, I think synth. And Dark Wave. So, all three of these are mattes. This Dark Wave is the only one that looks like it could have a sheen on the palette, but it's actually, it looks matte now that I've swatched it. See how they look. Yeah, actually, it just so it's one of those ones where it looks matte. It's gonna look matte on your eye. It just has this very, very subtle, just like sheen to it. Dark wave right here. There we go. So pretty. This like um. This like teal peacock color is so pretty this bright blue oh, beautiful oh my gosh so excited so excited ah! makeup makes me so happy that's all I can say I don't know how to describe it any other way but it actually legitimately from deep down inside makes me happy okay let's move the color wheel again to the purples we have anthem Muse and Echo. And Echo is very much a purple, but it's a very blue purple with lots of pretty, pretty pink little glitters in there. Can you see that? Oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Stunning. Okay, so these feel a little bit let me just see, maybe it's just me. Oh, nope, it's chalkier. Okay, so they are a little chalkier, these three. I'm not sure why, but, and the pigmentation is just a little lower, so I'm not sure, let me try this one again. I'm not sure why that would be. That Muse actually is, a, it looks like a matte too, but it has just a, the same kind of thing, just a little bit of a sheen to it. Just a little bit of a sheen. See those glitters? Even though these are my favorite, favorite colors of life, I'm actually kind of sad that they're not as wonderful as I thought they'd be. So Muse definitely has that sheen to it. It's not completely matte. It has just a very, very subtle sheen to it. And then um, this um, Anthem, I think is still gonna be a great matte purple to go with a purple eye. I think it would still look really pretty. But these three were not as wonderful as I thought they'd be. Come on. All right, we are going to move on to the center of the wheel where we have our neutrals, our highlights, and our smoky must-haves. Okay, let's do, let's do the two highlights first. So we have Lyric and Skulls. I love these names. They're so much fun. Oh yes, that skull is a beautiful, beautiful highlight color. Look at that. Oh wow, so pretty. So it's this, um, what did I say it was? Lyric. 
Lyric is definitely more of a like a cool toned pinky highlight like it's it almost looks like it's just slightly slightly pink but so light and then skulls is more of that like bright white highlight really 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 pretty okay let's go into our transition shades so our transition shades are going to be this bone color right here this kind of like more of a tan and a, a warm tan and a cool tan is what I would consider them as. Really pretty. Let's see. Okay, so Strutter is our cool tan. Noble is our warm tan. And then Molder is that kind of like bone off white color that's perfect for your brow bone. Really, really pretty. So you can see that cool tone brown a lot because it doesn't match my skin as much. It's almost like like a perfect, perfect like nude. And then in the middle is the warm tan transition color and then your brow bone color. I think it's so perfect when a palette puts everything you need for all in one. And this is definitely something that even though it's big, this is your all-in-one palette. I just don't think you need to bring anything else with you if you were like traveling, for example. Okay, last two are your necessities for any smoky eye, a dark brown and a black. Um, you know, you could do neutral or smoky, smoky eye. Okay, this is Box is the dark brown. Is Box. This is black metal. So I am very critical with my blacks. So let's see. Oh, that is black. I am very critical with my blacks because sometimes when you swatch them, it comes out just being a gray. And it's like, you know, if I wanted a gray, I would have got a gray. If I want a black, I want a black. And that is actually legitimately black. It is really pretty. And that dark chocolatey brown is so pretty <gasps> I love it good job Kat Von D not only do your palettes look amazing they are just amazing 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 is all I can say but amazing <laughs> okay let's go through and see what kind of eye look let's see what kind of eye look we want to create so on the Urban Decay one, I did kind of a pinky purple with a little bit of blue. On the Vice Urban Decay Vice palette, I did more of a green fall with like a lighter green pop under the eye. Let's see. I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go kind of like a little bit of fall neutral inspired. So I'm going to use a few of these transition colors and then I think I'm going to focus a lot on these two down here. This is Rewind and Harpsichord, Harpsichord, whatever. I think I'm going to focus on these two and then maybe a little bit of this analog in my transition color as well. And then for the highlight, I'm definitely going to use some of these highlights. I think that's what we're going to do. Alright, I have primed my eyes already. So I'm going to go ahead in with the first transition color. And I'm going to kind of just put this all over the lid to just start with a base. And I'm going to use this molder color. This is that one that's like a perfect brow bone, like um, off-white color. So I'm trying to use as many shadows in here as I can so that I can give you a good um, review on it. Usually I would not use probably this many colors for an eye look, but again, I'm trying to purposefully use the colors so that we can get a uh, and a great overall review for this. Let's 
go in now with um, I'm gonna go in with Noble which is that warmer um, tan and put that in the transition as my transition shade I am gonna still go in with the orange too but I'm gonna lay this one down first so it just gives it a really nice base. Okay, so I have that transition color down, which is noble. Now I'm gonna take analog, which is that orange, and I'm gonna use that also as a transition color. And I'm gonna go in light at first, because this could, this could be super pigmented, like all of her other ones. And, if, and it's definitely pigmented. Okay, so there is that warmer orange transition, and do you see what I mean? Like where it doesn't look like, whoa, there's orange on your eye, but it just kind of warms it out and just kind of gives it that really nice, like warm fall kind of look. I really like that a lot lately. Okay, okay I'm gonna go into Harpsichord, which is that really like coppery orange color. And I'm gonna put that all over the lid except for the outer I'm going to keep it to the for the third first two thirds <laughs> oh my goodness it can't suck that is such a pretty color oh I just love how everybody is coming out lately with these really like warm um, orangey tones that they're just so pretty Okay, now I'm going to go in with Rewind, which is that nice, like, shimmery but not glittery burgundy shade that's so pretty. I'm going to put this into the outer corner and then run it into... And when I barely touch this, I'm not kidding, you get so much color. So be careful when you touch that one. Don't be rough with it, but it is so pigmented. You get so much color. And I love that. I love when you get so much color for your money. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so that is with that on. Now let's go in and go ahead and blend it out. Just make sure we have no harsh lines. That is so pretty. I don't even know if it's coming off well, as well on the camera as it is in real life, but super, super, super pretty. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of a rewind on this little brush just to put underneath the corner of the lash line. Lower lash line, sorry. Just in the very outer corner. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into Harpus Cord and just take a little bit of that as well. Sorry, wasn't showing you. And then put that um, a little bit more underneath where you would feel like your pupil is because it's a little bit more shimmery, so it's going to pull all that shimmer together just a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to go in. I love Oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in a little bit with just a little bit of Fran, and Fran is this yellow one right here. And I'm just gonna take a very little bit of that and put that on the inner third. You guys, these have such crazy pigmentation. I mean, really, really pretty. Okay, I want to keep it bright, but I want to be able to, um, like I said, use as many colors as I can to give you guys a good 
um, sorry, I just keep the camera, a good overview. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of this Legend, which is this shiny, really light, light gold, um, or yellow, and I'm gonna put that in the inner corner for just like a little pop. So do you see that? My eye is watering as usual. Okay, let's do um, a shiny brow bone. Let's do that. All right, I am going to take, hmm, I'm gonna take Lyric as my brow bone. This is the one that is um, the, the more, um, it's not as, it's not pink. I don't know why I said pink, it's white. It's like a bone white. Um, highlight not like um, like skulls is more of like your white white highlight so this is just a little bit more gentle and again really pigmented a little goes a long way okay we're going to go back in and blend these together. That is the eye look. I am going to do eyeliner, clean this up a little bit, and some concealer. And I will be right back and I'll pick a lipstick with you. Okay, so to finish, I used, um, on, on camera I did the lower lash line. But I used the, my favorite, I talked about this in my collection. This is the NYX Golden Bronze um, Eyeliner in Slide On, Glide On, definitely a turn on eyeliner. Amazing, amazing color. This is such a favorite, like, holy grail color for me. And for this eye, it's perfect to go in the waterline. And then I use the Lorac Makeup Pro front of the line on the top of my lash line, just a little bit, not too much. And then I use my Jordana Best Slash Extreme. I'm not kidding you guys, this is like two or three dollars and it is so amazing. This is one of my favorite, favorite mascaras. I forgot how much I loved it by taking it out right now. Okay, I'm gonna go in a little closer so you can see. This is my eye look. What do you think? Do you like it? I like it. I think even the yellow in the corner just gives it a little bit of like hmm, something different. So I like it a lot. So that is the look. Okay, final thoughts on this palette. Besides the adorable, adorable packaging that I love so much, this, okay, there's only, um, there's still my Too Faced palette that I haven't tried, and there's a Tarte one coming and stuff, but I'm not kidding you guys, so far, this is like front runner. She did such a good job with this. This eye look was so effortless and easy. There's a couple that I'm a little disappointed in down here, but other than that, everything else is freaking amazing. I hate to ever tell you guys you must get something, but because this is limited edition, I'm not kidding. I would get this. I think this is a must. I I just, I think this is amazing. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'll put the price somewhere here or in the description. I forget exactly, but I mean, it's no much more than any of the other palettes that are coming out right now. I just realized I forgot to do my lip with you on camera. I am going to use the Warm Me Up from Maybelline. Hold on, I gotta get this swatch off before I can't get it off. <laughs> okay, let's do this together best I can. Just a nice, like, pinky nude. Really, really pretty. I, this is a newer color to me and I just love it so much. This is just such a very nice like nude but it's pinky and dusty enough to be wearable nude. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe down for more 
videos coming your way of more of the stuff I ordered for the holiday collections. I'm so excited. This is like the favorite time of year. It's like Christmas come early for me. I just love palettes and I love collection sets and stuff. It's just such a good value usually. I love it so much and I love this Kat Von D. You are freaking amazing. She just recently opened up a lot of her favorite items um, on QVC. I'm so happy for her. I love QVC. If you are not a QVC fan, you need to be. And now you can get Kat Von D there. I just think it's awesome. She's headed in such a wonderful direction. I'm so happy for her. And I love this palette. Again, this is the Mi Vida Loca. We're going loco, loco, loca, loca. I love it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye, guys.